What's up YouTube? What up friends and fam? You know what you signed up for. You know what you signed up for when you put pen to paper, when you started that relationship, when you started that business, what it would take to get yourself to the next level. Are you going to let something so minuscule, so, you know, problems happen, man, in business and relationships and everything. Like, I'll break it down what happened today that uh, three of my chainsaws, we accidentally put gasoline in it and not mix because we thought the gasoline was mixed and uh, blew up three engines. That's $2,500. That uh, is... Uh, it's still getting to me, but take. I'm trying to take my emotions away from the situation, take my emotions away from the situation, put myself in that bird's eye view that we talk about, and then see this happening at, on the timeline and try to see the future that this $2,500, it's a learning lesson for all of us to make sure that the mix is mixed and that's that you know what i mean the mix is mixed and the gas is gas and that's that you know what i mean like we can't be blowing up the machines maybe it took us twenty five hundred dollars to learn the lesson um we all didn't go to school so you know we had to split that cost um which is not going to come out to twenty five hundred dollars anyway because hopefully number one it's under warranty number two if we have to fix it, we're gonna learn how to fix it, do it the right way, and just fix that shit ourselves for like a hundred bucks each chainsaw versus pay them six hundred dollars for a chainsaw. So that's it. Long, like, gotta see yourself from the bird's eye view. Keep grinding, keep getting it. Um, and you you gotta keep getting it that way. You gotta keep moving forward. No matter if you lose money on a job. No matter if you lose an employee or all your employees decide to quit on you, you have to keep that positive mentality, that long view of of the timeline. You got to put yourself in that bird's eye view, look at yourself on the timeline and keep plugging forward because everything that happens in business isn't a big deal. You, the, the biggest deal is putting the next step forward, keep going forward, put the next ad out. Um, if you ain't doing something right, consult somebody, you know what I mean? Like, I try to consult everybody, not, let me put that another way, I try to consult people that I look up to in business standpoint that, um, whether it be about taxes or, like, what do they do in this situation to make as much money as possible, what do they do this in this situation to do this, to do that, um, and implement it, you know what I mean? Like, one thing I'm trying to implement is, yeah, I know how to make money, I know how to get customers, but now it's how do I balance family and life and happiness, like, the whole reason why I started this business was go after happiness, which I am happier than I've ever fucking been in my life, which is, I thank the Lord for that, um, I could arrange some more time for, like, basketball and all that, I really want to get back into basketball, so basketball every day like these things are like every fucking day you got to do it every day you got to advertise every day you got to play basketball every day you got to make yourself happy every day if you ain't doing that like you ain't living life like life is way too fucking short to not do what you love every day i'm not saying you're not gonna work but you have to work like like i said before whoever said like choose something that you love to do and you'll never work a day a day again in your life that's just bullshit man <laughs> like Early morning wake up time is fucking work, man. I don't give a fuck. When you're sleeping next to a beautiful girl, like my girlfriend, and it's cold out, it's four o'clock in the morning, and then I have to get up out of that bed, that's like the hardest fucking thing to do. Like, I've done a lot of hard shit, and that's like the hardest thing to do. Especially when you have the girlfriend, when you have the comfort right next to you, like, oh, I love you, I love you, and then I want to sleep more. Like, the temptation for that is like the strongest. So once you get past that temptation in the morning to sleep in, the temptations that come down the road throughout the day are going to be greater. Like it's just going to, you're just going to coast through it, man. You know what I mean? Just going to coast through it. Just like smoking cigarettes. So if you want to quit cigarettes, step number one, make a non-negotiable early morning wake up time. I don't care for the first couple weeks you have to smoke a cigarette when you first wake up in the morning it's the early morning wake up time that's non-negotiable because you're putting that temptation of sleeping in in the gutter like temptation down the gutter like let's eliminate all these temptations that make us bad people or not mad people that put us down the wrong path because we're never bad people we're all human being 
But um, eliminate that. And then other things throughout the day will be eliminated. Other temptations throughout the day will be eliminated. Whether it be like the thought of lust through, to a, through a girl that you see out at the gas station or something like that. When you're trying to stay faithful in one relationship. Or whether it be just not jacking off in a day or not smoking a cigarette or not picking up an alcoholic drink, something down the line every day, it's going to get easier and easier to resist that temptation. I'm at the point where it's like I just resist the temptation for the thought to come up in the head. Like, but like for, for example, like every time I see a bicycle, the thought still comes up in my head like, oh, is that bicycle locked? When really I can afford any fucking bicycle I want now. So like, why do I have to automatically think like, oh my God, I can steal that bicycle. It's like the kleptomaniac still lingering in my head, which I automatically am like, dude, like stop. Like, you know, but I'd like to get to the point where I look at a bicycle and I just say, hey, nice bike. And I compliment the person whoever's riding it even though they're not there um so that's the level i'm at now is just getting the thought down and you know really just getting the thought down and getting the action down because i've noticed that i've told other people time and time again what to do and do this and do that which i wasn't wrong i was not wrong at all i just wasn't living it so when we don't live it it's harder for people to take your opinion seriously but now i'm out here living it um, I've cut a few people off that I was trying to help out and they just weren't getting the message and it, it was affecting me negatively. So I had to cut them off. Just do me, you know, focus on the business, focus on this and that, like me focusing on all this shit right now. I'm not saying like I'm better than anybody else or whatever, but I just don't have time to focus on helping somebody else who doesn't, who doesn't want the help. You know what I mean? Bottom line, something that came up to mind when, um, since the video is called, you know what you signed up for. Um, so when it comes to a relationship and you're in the relationship with a girl, this is the way I look at it. It helps, helps me not to get in an argument with another female. Is that when, say, we're getting in a debate and then it starts turning into an argument, I just try to end it at there, keep a monotone voice, keep a um, neutral stance on whatever the subject is because... I think it's a complete waste of time to argue with a female, especially when you love the female. You don't want to say anything that will hurt the female. You don't want to say anything that you're going to regret. So it's just like, try to withdraw from these situations. Like, instead of getting in this heated debate about bullshit, like, don't even do it. Don't even go there because you're going to say something that hurts her. She's going to say something that hurts you. So it's better... The way I look at it is you're being a man if you don't argue with the female. Because who are you arguing with the female? What kind of man are you arguing with the female? Like, men don't do that. Men do not do that. They see the bigger picture. Withdraw yourself, put yourself in the bird's eye view, and just see the long view of the relationship. Um, and then if you see the relationship working out, then there's no need to argue like just agree with her or don't even agree with her just you know say what you got to say but don't get in the flex tone voice because it's going to promote more arguing and um that's just something i've learned over the years man because when i got emotional with girls like i just like wind up breaking their cell phones and shit <laughs> like you know what i mean like it's bad like cost me money like i'll like punch a hole in the wall i've done that before broke cell phones before um you know, we're passionate people, man, but you can't get all up in your feelings about an argument. Like, an argument's stupid. Just like the same thing, I can't get up all of my feelings about three chainsaws break, breaking. Even if that was the last of my chainsaws, I still got two. Um, looks like I have to buy another one now, but it is what it is because I can't get too emotional about it. Because if I get too emotional about it... I lose out on work. Then I, if I get too emotional about it, I start telling my customers like, oh, all my chainsaws are broken. Then they're not going to want to hire us because they don't think we know what we're doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, same thing is with a relationship. If you're arguing with your spouse, she's going to be like, well, we argue all the time. I don't, like, you don't know what you're doing. You're a man. Like, you don't know what you're doing. You can't fucking tell me to shut up, like, in a proper way. So you just don't know what you're doing. And females don't like that customers don't like that it's bad for the money it's bad for the bank account all right this is something i wanted to show you guys which i think is pretty cool i'm pretty old school so i literally have a notebook one notebook for notes 
and then one planner. So my planner tells me what I'm doing throughout the week. Like say if I get a quote, I put it in this when I'm on the phone with somebody, I'll show you. Flip the camera for y'all and I'll show you what I got going on. So look at one page, this is all work jobs. Completed that one, completed that one. All right, more work to do. These are not easy jobs either. Look at 1750. This one's like a four, like two to four grand job, depending on how many days. Look at 1,000. Everything, 1,000 bucks, guys. Like, I'm not fucking around no more. Like, this shit's for real, bro. Like, this shit is fucking for real. Like, you gotta be really careful about the taxes and all that. That's, um, another thing I wanna touch base on is like, you decide to go cash and it's like, right now, like, I think I'd be considered like a radar company. Like, I'm staying under the radar, which, uh, it's got its benefits, but it's got its not benefits too. Like for example, like I have no proof of an income. So if I go ahead and try to get a loan somewhere, like they won't give me a loan because technically I don't have a proof of income. So that's one negative, but there are positives. You don't got to pay the taxes. You don't get, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, I don't know. I probably shouldn't even be talking about this right now, but uh, yeah. If you want any more information about that, text me or hit up my DM. I love y'all. Peace, peace, peace. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hustle God. Um, I seriously love you guys, man. I love all the feedback. And if you made it to this point of the video, comment down below what you want to see next. Um, this one was just kind of a spur of the moment thing. I was recording yesterday, then I got a phone call. Literally, all I drink is this type of water. This is a dollar of water. Like, so in Europe, they only drink like high quality water. So I started doing the same. I did the same for one week. I give myself a challenge like, all right, drink fancy water for one week. See if you feel the difference. After one week, I felt way fucking smarter. So like I stopped drinking like Poland Spring and all that. Like I can't even do it no more. Like I will if I'm really thirsty and that's all there is. But like I just bought 50 of these water bottles. Like this is all I do. This is all I fucking drink is like this type of water, Fiji. I like Evian a lot. Evian is pretty fucking bomb. It makes but this stuff is really fucking good too because it makes me smarter, dude. It's got like minerals in it and shit. Look at this natural alkaline with a pH of 8.0 or, or higher. That just means you have more oxygen in your bloodstream, more oxygen to your brain. Like you're fucking smarter when you drink this shit, dude. Stop drinking that cheap ass shit because it's making you fucking dumb. I swear to God. Just like your diet, your diet in America is making you fucking dumb. Like. It's crazy but uh we'll touch base on that later um yeah like i said comment down below what you want the next video to be i love you guys keep your head up and keep following this journey we're almost at a thousand subs let's go